Good morning. We are here in beautiful Hammondsport, New York, overlooking Cuca Lake over there. We're in the Finger Lakes region of New York at the Steuben Brewery. We're doing a morning social gravel ride here with a couple people, small group, checking out some of the local roads. Some of the Dirty Bikes gravel series races have been on some of these roads. It's awesome riding. We're gonna come back here this afternoon, test some beers, and hopefully release the new Curtis White beer that I'm really looking forward to showing you. Alright Gary, we have about 15k left, a little under 10 miles, how are you feeling, how's the ride? It's a great ride, um, really strong group of riders, we're going at a nice little clip but it's not total hammering and we're you know, stopping every once in a while, um, but very much looking forward to that beer with the end. Yeah, what's your favorite beer, um, you don't mind me asking? Well. Let's see. Well, I like it's too bad. I like like their eight percenters. I don't know exactly all their names. I think Stuben Club, but I think that's a little lower alcohol. And Trail Town is actually kind of their light beer, their athletic beer. That one is really, really phenomenal. It's got a great taste for being, you know, a little lighter. It doesn't taste like a lighter beer. So, looking forward to that at the end, and not putting on all the calories. There we go, the athlete's beer. Spaces. Um, these are all our fermenters, okay. which are um, all glycol chilled. They're basically refrigerators, uh, stainless steel, glycol chilled, double walled, keep the beer nice and cold as it's fermenting. These are the bigger ones, uh, 15 barrels, 440 gallons. Wow. So, and your beer will do a, a big batch of it. So That's going to be in high demand. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we want to be able to have enough for, uh, for kegs and for canning too. So, so yeah, uh, these are awesome uh, awesome tanks that do their job. They're all conical shaped so that um, as the yeast drops out, we can get fresh yeast off the bottom. So if the yeast slides down, we get fresh yeast for our, our next batch. So if you come over here, so this is our brew house, a very simple, brew house, we have a mash tun and our boil kettle. Okay, you so. get all of your, your oats, your barley, everything is delivered in bulk. Are yep. they New York grown or? Most of it is, yeah. As a, as a farm brewery, we are, um, we have to have at least 60% New York State grown ingredients, malt and hops. Um, we have a, uh, a brand called Local Liquid, which is one of, you know, which is what your beer is going to be. Um, as shown here. Yep, local liquid here. 100% uh, <laughs> New York State grown you. ingredients. So your beer is gonna have 100%. All right, so we're wrapping up an awesome day here. Chad Blaine, thank you so much for having me. We are announcing this brand new New York Curtis Cyclocross Pilsner beer. I'm excited, this is really fun. Thanks for having me out and uh, thanks for having me involved with this project. Thanks for the opportunity, man. It's, uh, it's been fun working on the project, seeing it come to fruition. Finally, like like we said earlier when we opened this, thank Tony Seiler for sending this to uh, Curtis and the brewery. But to see that actually look real. It's coming to life. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually happening. So when this is when is it gonna be re ready and available and where can people find this beer? Chadillac. Yeah, so this beer will be ready likely by the end of July. Um, you can look for this beer um, at your local Wegmans um, and also at Trader Joe's. Also, um, look for it at your nearest cyclocross race or cycling race.
be determined, but we're looking to get it at gravel and cyclocross events. So, Chad and Blaine, really, really appreciate you having me out here for this project. This is cool. This is fun. I can't wait. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, it's going to taste great. Thanks. Thanks.